We're given the equation x squared plus x plus xy equals 2 and y of 2 equals negative 13 and we're asked to find y prime of 2. So we're going to find the slope of this equation at 2 using implicit differentiation. So implicit differentiation means we take the derivative of each part with respect to x. So anytime we take the derivative of an x term it's going to be just our regular derivative. So derivative of x squared is 2x the derivative of x is 1. So when we take a derivative of a y term, the things get a little bit interesting because we're thinking as y, of y as some kind of implicit function of x. So when we do this, this is going to actually be a product rule, x times y. And let me put it in parentheses so we can separate it out. So it's going to be x times the derivative with respect to x of y plus y times the derivative with respect to x of x. And then over on the right hand side, derivative of 2 by a constant by itself is just 0. So we have 2x plus 1 plus, now this is dy dx, or a lot of times I like to write it as y prime. So x times y prime plus the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1, so 1 times y, so plus y equals 0. Now at this point we have two options. We could solve for y prime, or because we're looking for the slope at 2, we can plug in 2 and negative 13 for x and y and solve. Let's do the more general and solve for y prime. So we're going to get y prime, any term with y prime on it on a side by itself, and all the others are going to the other side. So I'm going to leave x, y prime on this side, and I'm going to subtract off y minus 2x minus 1 and we'll divide both sides by x. So there's our derivative. Now to calculate it at the point 2, negative 13, we'll plug those values in. So this would be the slope of our tangent line. So we'll be plugging negative 13 in for x, or negative 13 minus 2 times 2 minus 1 all over 2, and we'll simplify. So 13 minus 4 minus 1, all over 2, so we get 8 over 2, or a slope of 4 for our tangent line. And if we wanted to find the tangent line, it's simple now because we've got a point that it goes through. It's 4 times x minus 2 minus 13. And we could simplify that, but that's good enough.